Hey, what's up guys? So one of my favorite trig board projects was when I hooked up a PIR motion sensor to it so that I could then get a push notification on my phone when somebody walked by the trig board. So this PIR sensor was really cool because it only pulls 10 to 12 microamps from the battery. And of course, you know I've made a million videos about the trig board. It pulls less than one microamp. So of course, when that motion gets detected, it wakes the trig board up, we connect to the Wi-Fi network and send the push notification out. And this was a great project because I put them everywhere. I put one um, on the, uh, the stairwell there so I could detect when somebody walks up and down the stairs. I put one in my lab, which was cool. And then a fun one was outside. So in this little case here, uh, I've got a trig board with the PIR sensor and a battery which detects when somebody walks up to the front door. And this works great. I actually uh, get a notification from this, then the doorbell when somebody delivers a package. So it's kind of cool. And then one night, actually, um, I got a notification in the middle of the night, checked my wise cam, and sure enough, there's a little bunny walking along the path there. So anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because there's a problem with these PIR sensors, and that is that they are extremely sensitive to noise. So what I was experiencing with these was that every once in a while, I would get a push notification from one of these boards, uh, even though there was no motion detected at all, which is kind of spooky, actually. Uh, and I, I took a deep dive into figuring out why this was, and I thought it was something to do with the power supply to the, to the actual... PIR module that's in there, um, but everything I tried did not work. I won't get into all the different things I tried, but finally I found that if I put some ferrites on the uh, the power signal going to the uh, to the PIR sensor, that was actually filtering out any high frequency noise that was coming from the trig board. Uh, and actually just stabilized the power supply to it. And I put this on both the V in and V out of the PIR sensor. So if you come over to the wiki, I've updated this diagram here. So you can see the two ferrites that I added. I also added in some extra capacitance there as well. Yeah, so make sure you watch the original video I made on this project. And then when you get to the actual connections though and the parts you're going to use, follow this diagram here and I've got a list up here with the parts, and I'll have a link to where you can get these nice through-hole ferrites as well. So that's all there really is to it. Um, you know, if you're having problems, not you know, forget about the trig board, but if you're using a PIR sensor in another project, this would also help you there as well, because the ferrites do a nice job at adding in that impedance when you have high-frequency noise content on your signals. So... Uh, anyway, that was a very simple, easy fix. Again, you know, I've got these sensors in places where there is no motion whatsoever, and I've never received a false positive from them. So, uh, very cool project. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.